Wanted to start with a look at the radar, kind of what's still going on on the East Coast, and that is the fact that that rain is still lingering around the uh, Baltimore DC area all the way down to Richmond. We'll put this radar into motion. You can see where the rain has been really not moving much. This storm system is slowly working its way northward, so I still believe that places like Baltimore will be uh, dealing with these remnants, not only rain, but also some pretty gusty winds in excess of perhaps 20 to 30 miles per hour during the duration of the game. So it could be a little sloppy when it comes to weather conditions for our colts today. We're watching a storm system developing back to our west. We are still sitting in between these two uh, larger areas of low pressure. So today still looks relatively quiet with some increased clouds that will build in from the west today. So your forecast over in Baltimore. 60s drizzle going to be likely. It will be breezy at times, as I mentioned, so just looking a little rough on the East Coast. For us back here at home, we've actually got a pretty nice day. I believe this would be a roof open kind of day if this were at Lucas Oil Stadium, as our sky is clear for now. Has been a little cooler because of that clear sky overnight. Temperatures have been consistently dropping. Right now we're at 54. Got a lot of outlying locations in the 40s, though, right now. That's where we're going to stay over the next few hours. We'll call it 53 at 8 a.m. once the sun starts to come up and then a mostly sunny start to the day. Temperatures will warm up nicely because of that. We're back to about 74 by 1 o'clock and then 81 as we get into that 5 o'clock hour today and that will be our forecast high temperature. Notice your wind direction though coming in out of the east. It's that northeasterly wind flow that's going to continue to keep a lot of dry air in place and that's going to be an important factor when it comes to our rain chances. So temperatures will be back above average for everybody across the board today most of us in the low 80s, but as this incoming storm system pushes cloud cover in, that's going to interact with that drier air mass that's in place, and that's really going to cut back a lot of the moisture that comes with this system, limiting our chance to see rain today. So as we fast forward through about 5 p.m., yes, we'll notice more clouds, but as far as seeing a shower or two, we're going to keep that chance contained to the southern half of the state, and it's going to be pretty few and far between as far as seeing any rain today in the coverage area of that. Now getting into tomorrow, we start the day a touch warmer near 60 early in the morning, and then we take into tomorrow afternoon, still looking at highs approaching that 80 degree mark, but then the moisture could potentially start to beat out that dry air a little bit on Monday. Let's take you through the overnight. This will put us into the seven o'clock hour early Monday. Notice a stray shower going to be a possibility. Same deals we get into the noon hour and then eventually 5 p.m. Again, noticing that the rain chance stays quite limited for your Monday as temperatures once again approach that 80 degree mark. Now Tuesday is when things get a little bit more interesting. Bigger picture going to show us this incoming storm system will start to increase uh, the rain chance here as we get into our Tuesday evening. This is around 5 p.m. And then this actual boundary is going to push in on Wednesday and that's what's going to bring in perhaps the best chance to see some rain this week. So we're talking Tuesday evening throughout the day on Wednesday and then eventually exiting on Thursday going to bring some much needed rainfall to central Indiana if this whole thing holds together. It's also going to cool the temperature off just a bit. Mid 70s midweek will be at 76 with a shower early Thursday and then clearing skies as we rebound back near that 80 degree mark heading into next weekend.